a tax attorney by training. I also have a master's degree in educational technologies and organizational leadership. The courses that I typically review for ACE are courses in business, law, educational technology, and organizational leadership. It's not just one person that does a review, it's always based upon a team from a diverse background. So there might be one person who teaches in the same subject matter uh, from a community college, there might be somebody who teaches at the university level, undergraduate level, and there might be someone who teaches at a graduate level. And as a group, they must reach consensus on whether the content, scope, rigor, and assessments are commensurate with what higher education standards should be. ACE credit recommendations can be a great help to the student, and we use those recommendations to award students units that they can use towards meeting degree requirements. So essentially, we don't see a differentiation between someone who got that same type of learning in a college classroom type environment and someone who got that training through work that was uh, later recommended for credit through ACE. Entry-level people learn how to do things. They learn how to put water on fire. They learn how to use an ax. But as they move up and they learn how to be supervisors and they learn how to do strategic planning and they know how to, to do operational planning, those things directly relate to academic outcomes. I believe the ACE credit review process works because of the dedication of the faculty reviewers. We respect the higher education standards and we want to make sure that the people who are obtaining credit for their coursework are meeting those standards that we see uh, across the nation. One of the primary benefits that I've seen resulting from the ACE credit review process is the satisfaction and the sense of accomplishment that the adult learner has when they've completed a course that has received a credit recommendation from ACE. Their learning is recognized and validated. We have the same level of trust in the ACE review process as we have with our colleagues and in institutions of higher ed. We currently have around 23,000 instances of ACE credit being utilized towards a degree requirement. And we take that learning and apply it into our degree with every confidence that what the student has learned meets our learning outcomes.